So today we're going to be learning about the Haiti earthquake example that we have for our LIC earthquake. So as part of the course we have to study two earthquakes in areas of contrasting levels of wealth. So Haiti, which will be our LIC example, had an earthquake that happened in 2010. Now the reason why the earthquake happened was because Haiti has a plate margin that runs through it. And it is a conservative plate margin where two plates are moving alongside each other in opposite directions. And these plates have been stuck for over a hundred years. An intense pressure had built up and suddenly it got too much and the plates slipped and seismic waves were released. A huge amount of energy was generated by the earthquake and it recorded as seven on the Richter scale. That huge amount of shaking produced some devastating consequences for the people of Haiti. It is an incredibly poor country and unfortunately it hit just south of the capital city Port-au-Prince and it caused thousands if not on bordering on millions of buildings to collapse or if not be severely damaged, including the presidential palace. Now, approximately 316,000 people died directly, so your primary impact directly because of the shaking of the earthquake. Depending on where you read, it might have slightly different numbers, but it was quite hard to determine exactly how many people died because many of these people were living in slum or shanty housing, which was illegal um, and their accommodation wasn't recognised by the government. So there were no records to say exactly how many people there were there. So that was one of our primary impacts. 316,000 people died. Over 1 million buildings or homes were completely destroyed by the immediate shaking of the earthquake. So deaths and also impacts to the buildings. So they are our primary impacts, the shaking, deaths and damage to homes. Unfortunately, some quite devastating secondary effects also struck Haiti afterwards. Water became contaminated with bacteria and it led to the spread of a number of infections including the waterborne virus cholera which we'll represent by our little cell here looking quite angry as it did uh, unfortunately lead to further deaths. Interestingly it wasn't just homes or presidential palace that was damaged by the shaking. There was a prison that was destroyed and this led to a number of prisoners escaping, represented by my little robber here, escaping from the prisons, which as you can imagine afterwards, the carnage of so many people um, being killed, so many buildings demolished by the earthquake, and um, a number of these individuals escaping led to some very terrifying um, circumstances after the earthquake. So that's some of the impacts of the earthquake. You don't need to know any more than that to be able to answer the exam questions that you could be presented with. So how did the government or the people of Haiti respond? Now being an LIC, an incredibly poor LIC, they did not have any emergency plans in place. They did not have specialised lifting equipment or rescue equipment to get people out of the rubble of the, caused by the earthquake. And they were literally digging people out with their bare hands. People who had survived using their bare hands to try and get these people who were stuck and still injured and alive out from underneath the rubble. You can imagine that was very difficult to do, lifting up concrete and bricks to rescue those people. Haiti would not have been able to cope by themselves at all. And they received huge amounts of aid from various countries from around the world. 
including the United States, who sent um, troops over. They were one of the first countries to arrive due to their um, close proximity. The USA is not too far away from Haiti. They sent over troops who then managed to send out tents and water and food and medication. However, as we have studied, it took five days from the planes landing, getting to the people who needed it. And that's because the airport was severely damaged, roads were damaged, and being able to get the aid to the people who need it was very difficult. Simon Cow led a song, got together lots of artists in the UK to raise money for the Haiti appeal that could be used straight away and in the longer term developments to improve the lives of the people who had survived. And so they released a charity single called Everybody Hurts to try and raise money for the aid appeal, which was very successful. In the longer term, the charities involved, such as Oxfam and Red Cross, were focused on rebuilding, making homes more stable and secure. Now, the government of Haiti brought in stricter building regulations, but it's very difficult to try and make sure that those buildings are being built to proper standards. And so they've been using the charity's skills to put together these more permanent and more secure buildings, such as having lighter roofs, rather than having the concrete roofs which just caused the buildings to collapse when the earthquake struck. Oxfam have also trained many Haitians who didn't have jobs before or lost their jobs as a result of the earthquake in construction. So that they could help with the rebuilding of the homes and the infrastructure, shops, businesses, communication networks, sewage networks, etc. So not only did um, people receive new homes so they could be you know, safe and warm but they also learnt new skills in construction which earned them more money and therefore they can provide for their families and get back onto their feet and back to normal. So there you have your Haiti case study, your Haiti earthquake which happened in 2010, your primary effects, secondary effects, your immediate responses, things that happen straight away saving lives and then our longer term responses to try and get people's back lives back to normal. Now this is an LIC case study and we will contrast this with our HIC case study and look for the reasons why so many people died in Haiti, poorly constructed buildings, government that wasn't prepared and lack of education, people didn't know what to do after an earthquake.